So, Pete, we're here looking at Space Camp. What is this? Just been added to the Humble Frozen Synapse bundle. Okay. So if you pay anything for that bundle, you'll get this game along with Frozen Synapse and Trauma, which we took a look at last week. Yep. But this is actually just a sort of really interesting puzzle game that gets very, very complicated. Yeah, I have to say, I have heard about this game, and all I know is that it's really, really difficult. Yeah, so this is one of the simpler levels at the beginning, right. where you're just sort of getting used to the very basic mechanics. Okay, so this is the simple part of the game. Yes, so basically we're in here on the left side, side we have our inputs. Right. And so we have this, just this fluorine molecule, just two fluorine atoms bonded together. Right. All we have to do is split them up, Okay. and then spit out individual atoms. Oh, that's all. Uh, that does sound simple. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so let's just get started. I'm just going to use this red track. You have two tracks, basically. Okay. And this this thing symbol says we want in, so we're gonna it's gonna give us an input, and you can see it actually places it on these two spots here on the grid. Mm -hmm. So then I have to grab it. Then I'll grab it here on the second molecule. So I'll give you two molecules. Yeah, it's gonna grab. It will grab the um, the sec left hand atom of this molecule. Okay. So I'll show you just what it's gonna do right now. I'm gonna be honest with you, John. So there you go. I feel like I'm in chemistry class, but there are fewer <laughs> explosions in chemistry class, so so far it's not as good as chemistry class. Yeah, well, it's actually a really interesting puzzle game once you get into it. Okay. But I'm glad so it's got ahead. some things going for it. So what we want to do, first of all, is just, we just want to rotate, rotate, rotate this around so it's vertical. Yes. And then just drop it off right here. These here are bonders. Okay. They create or remove these bonds. And since we need yeah. to split this Explain up... Explain this to me like I'm five, please. <laughs> like I need it. Okay, well these two atoms together are bond have a bond between them to make a molecule. Okay. And we just need to get rid of that bond so we have two separate atoms, which we can then put into the output. That's how you'd explain it to a five-year-old? Well, maybe. But here we go. Let's you're talking it's to easier some, to damage You're talking what it's to some do. bloody smart five-year-olds. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, this thing's just going to go along, carrying that molecule, get to here, and then we're gonna get rid of the bond. Okay. And then we'll just carry on only carrying one of them. Right. All right, so let's just show you what that does now. A little bit slower, so it's going on, boom, and it leaves the other one behind. Okay, and then you just have to output it. Exactly, so. In the psi square. Exactly, this top square here. So we're gonna just maneuver this line around, drop it off right there in the same, in the same spot as where it says on the output. Okay, that makes sense. And then we'll just loop this right back around. We'll make sure we tell it to get to flush this output so it doesn't get stuck there because you can't if we want you can't have the atoms colliding with each other. Okay, so that means you've got to use this bottom track. Yeah, so we need to grab the other get rid of that. the blue to pick up the bottom molecule there. Okay, so we could switch tab here. Now we're on the blue controls, and this one actually doesn't need to. Um, yeah, that just needs to grab an output. Exactly. So now what you can what you use, which is very helpful, is the sync command. Actually, I have to put this here. So this means that when it gets to the sink, it will wait till red gets to its sink before continuing. Okay. So we'll actually go quickly back to red, put one of these. So it will wait for the red to drop it off and keep on carrying on before it continues into this zone. Right. So then we just want to grab the other one here. It's going to grab that bottom molecule and just carry on and actually drop it right in the same place. So here we go. It's going to drop it there. Now these kind of overlap. That's fine as long as the molecules aren't actually operating. Um, are they, if they t get in the same square, it will, it will mess up the reaction and won't work. Okay, so as long as they're synced, so they're not going to be in the square at the same time. Exactly. As long, as long as you time it so they're not in the same square, you're totally good to have them you know, crossing all over each other all okay. different ways. So, yep. so we're immediately, just gonna... I'd say you've probably got that sync in the wrong square then. Well, I'll show you. I'm going to have to put another one up here. But oh, okay. Yeah, I just need it to... I'm just letting this one get out of the way. Right before I get past. So here we go. And it's going to come back around. This music is surprisingly epic for such a yeah, and they have odd a whole, game. They have all these, quite a lot of the good variety of really good music in this game. And actually, if you do get the Humble Bundle, you do get the soundtrack for this game as well. It's I available for feel like it's the soundtrack to a Final Fantasy game or something. <laughs> yeah, and there's like different styles. There's a bit more epic music you sometimes get. Yeah, Hopefully just, we'll see that in a later. I feel like someone's in a level. field with a sword attacking <laughs> a small goblin. All right, so here we go. But the final thing, let's just see what this does now. All right, so the blue one just waiting there. Mm -hmm. This one's going on. It drops it. It's going off. Now the blue one's carrying on after. There you go. That drops it off, flushes it out. And then we're basically, this one's waiting. And then we're back to the start. And for this one, it's just making 10. So we just can just make it go fast forward. 
and even faster, and boom, we're done. Easy. Completed. Yeah, easy peasy. And you, got, you can actually see how well you did in terms of time, number of reactors, and how many different controls you had to use compared to everyone else. Okay, so you were a little bit uh, behind on the amount of uh, symbols. Controls. Yeah, I used a couple more than the average, and a couple more a little bit took a little bit longer. Okay. So you can go back. Some people might want to go back and try and make it as efficient as possible. Right. All right, so let's go on to a slightly more complicated Yeah, that level. didn't look too difficult. Yeah. So... Here we go. This is the latest level that I'm on. Okay, so this is one you've never done before. i just taken a look at it. I haven't actually started it. Okay, all right. So here we go. Don't you... All right, we're going to... Oh, you've got a bit of story here. Exactly. Well. So they've actually got a whole bunch of these little story things. They're not directly related to what's going into the game, just more of a sort of a slight background okay. to the game. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of these I've already had, and look how many more there are. And just to get an idea of how much how complex this game is, I'm only about half the way through the training bits. Wow, okay. Now, it sort of sticks these in as I get to levels which need them, so I don't do all the training at once. That makes sense. Yeah. So I, I do one training, do a couple of missions to get used to those controls, then go into the next training. Okay, so you can do this level. Um, before yep. you look at it, how long would you say it normally takes you to do a space chem level, Oof. on average? I mean, they're getting harder and harder. Like, one of this difficulty, how long would you say it would take you to do? Like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so 10 minutes. Yeah, but let's, let's just see how far I can get in five. Yeah, okay, I was going to say, you can get five minutes. Yeah. All right. Go. The t the clock's okay, running. Okay, so here we go. This is where actually where it gets a little bit more complicated, you see. You actually have to set up all these reactors separately. So you remember that screen we were in before? That's actually inside one of these reactors. Okay. So here we go. Oh, you have to build them yourself. Exactly, and set up all the pipelines and things. You're setting up your space chemistry. So plant. basically we're harvesting some methane over here, mm -hmm. and I need to use these up to three reactors of this one's an assembly it can only create bombs but this assembly can only get rid of bombs and then i have to take this, this do you have a limited number of those i can only use three total okay yeah and then i have to make it into hydrogen take this methane and make it into hydrogen and ethane okay so i have a little idea of what i'm going to do yeah i can see how you could do that yeah exactly you have, you have all the molecules there so i'm going to connect this pipe up to start off with and what i'm just going to do with this disassembly reactor it just sort of split this up and stick out the outputs. Yep. So we'll open this up. Alrighty, so we're just getting the methane up the top here. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to, you can move these around to where, they need, where they're most helpful for you. Okay. We only, I'm only going to need two for what I'm going to do. What we're going to do is just take the red, request one of the molecules from the input, grab it, I'm going to take it over here, drop it off. Actually, no, I'm not going to drop it off. I'm just going to You've split. got three minutes, 30 seconds remaining, John, so you better pick up the yeah. pace. Here. All right, I'll narrate a little bit less. I'm going to split that up. It's going to carry on. And actually, what I forgot to do after clicking it out of the reactor is tell what these different outputs are going to be. Um, so this at the top just needs to be something like this. H. Unknown. <laughs> That's fine. Oh. oh, you've got an entire periodic table. Of the elements, just in case you need to get there. Wow. So there we go. That's an unknown. And to the lower output, I just want an H. All right. This is so I'm what, that's what I want to create. Okay. So now we go in here, you can see what I'm trying to create in each section. So here, I'm just going to drop one of these, this one off. Go back. Actually put a sink in there and a sink here. Then we'll go to the blue. We're just going to go up and grab the one hydrogen molecule that's going to be dropped off there. Okay. Grab it. And then just go up around. Okay, so that break of bonds doesn't break all the bonds, it just breaks the bonds. Just the ones that are in the right in the bond. In the uh, little uh, selectors. Exactly. That makes so sense. Actually, no. Move this on, it's fine actually. Put that there, boom. Two minutes. Drop. I'm going to see if it gets one reaction for you. And then another sink here. I want to see if that is what I want it to do. So it gets a big one, splits it off. Oh! Oh! Yeah, okay, so what I'm going to have to do actually is I'm put, sad it didn't explode. Put that sink there. Okay, let's see if that works. And then what I have to actually, I forgot to actually tell the red one to send the output out. Oh, okay, you didn't flush it out. Exactly. So there we go, this should work. There you go, it gets the big one. 
There we go. Oh, and I gotta tell the blue to actually get rid of the output as well. So, there we go. Ba 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 ba. Yeah. Alright, All right, there we go. You've got a minute 20. Can you do the rest okay, of the Okay, so now you can see. Time? Oh. Oh dear. I'm not sure how that messed Let's up. Let's find out. Let's watch it and, you know. Yeah. There we go. It's a little bit faster. Let's speed up. Yeah. Didn't quite. I think you've got your sync slightly off. Clearly. Yeah, that's weird. Here, I'll just move this one along. Does that fix it? Let's find out. Weird. Huh. I am confused. Let's just try this. Because it goes. It's in the second go round that has the problem. It's just not getting to the flash point quick enough, apparently. Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to have to do is put a, a middle sink in here. So it's going to wait here. Mm -hmm. And then... This one is going to... Let's see what that does. <laughs> nope! <laughs> yeah. Ten seconds. Alright, well... Five. See what this does. The marimba of your doom. It's done. Oh, I'm just confused why that's not working. So it works the first time around. On that note, uh, John attempting to make space chemistry work. This has been Hit the Switch. We'll be back tomorrow with a little experiment. Wait a minute. As we start a brand new series called Prepare to Die, more on that tomorrow on Hit the Switch. Oh, I know, I fixed it, fixed it. It's too late, look, you've run look, out of time. Look, 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 look. What? That makes no sense. John, we're oh. done. All right, Space Chemistry. It's available in the Humble Bundle, humblebundle.com. We'll have that link in the video description. Take, look, take a look at it. If you like puzzle games, you may like this. It is very, gets very complicated. But, you know, I actually had a lot of fun playing it. It looks cool. It looks like you need a chemistry degree to play <laughs> it. But we'll go with it. Um, until tomorrow, we'll be back with Prepare to Die.